Hey guys, so let's talk about the final Prom Night movie in the original series, not counting the Prom Night remake. Um, Prom Night 4 delivers from evil, and also, as a bonus, this is my first watch, too. I have not seen this one before. This is the only Prom Night movie I have not seen um, until now, which I'm actually really glad that I finally finished this franchise, because I saw them all except for the fourth one for some reason. But it's weird, because they've got like a lot of copyright issues, or, I mean, like distribution right issues I guess because like I saw that online there's like a prom night set where it's like a three pack and it's like one two and four and three isn't included and then I went to Amazon Prime and then three was not on Amazon Prime but it was on YouTube for free because I guess it doesn't have a uh, distribution holder but these movies kind of fall into that distribution like problem where like they, they're not all distributed by the same company so they kind of went like kind of don't connect in terms of like you can't watch them all on one thing and but i'm glad i finally found prom night four because again i watched the other ones a couple times before and enjoyed them but i i do like that i finally finished the franchise and prom night four um, this one goes back to the slasher format, like the first movie. It's trying to be like the first one. But, this has a funny, connective thing to Prom Night 2 and 3. Um, it starts out at Hamilton High in 1957. Hamilton High from the last two movies. But it doesn't involve Mary Lou. I wonder if this just did a thing where it's connected to the two and three but it doesn't it it's it's like it hap it the same night that Mary Lou is killed in prom night two um I wonder if it's this same thing happens where this priest kills a couple and on that night in 1957 on prom night so I guess it's technically connected to two and three that's pretty funny um because they, they have Hamilton High in 1957, the year Mary Lou was killed. So I just thought that was funny connecting this, even though it's not truly connected to 2 and 3. But I like how it kind of connects it thread in a tiny thread, I guess. That's kind of cool. Um, now, this the plot of this movie, for this slasher movie, which is not much plot, obviously, but it's about a killer priest um, just killing off sinful kids, sinful like teenagers. I like that premise. That's a cool premise. And I really like the score sometimes. The score sometimes is really creepy and has some church sounding music with the choir. Like, it's actually effective in some instances, but in some instances, it's got really bad direct to video music. <laughs> like, it's weird. It's a weird mixture between really great music and then really shitty music. Like, it's a weird mixture. Um, and the priest Jonas has been in an asylum since 1957 um, after he kills that couple and he of course escapes I mean you obviously he has to escape and it's about him going off and killing these these this group of friends who don't go to prom night even though this is called prom night four that to me was a funny uh, a funny change in the in this film um, the movie has some weird humor, too, that I didn't like as much as 2 and 3. Like, there's a f interesting fake-out lesbian scene where, like, these two characters are gonna, like, make out, but then they're like, oh, no, I wanted to just try to see if you were gay. And it's just a humorous... It's a, supposed to be a humorous moment, but I just sat there like, it's not super funny. It's just kind of like... I guess it's just because jokes like that have been used a lot. So maybe it's just, it would have been funny whenever this came out. Maybe not now. But but also, there's another weird humor, weird humorous moment where they reference Jamie Lee Curtis for absolutely no reason, as un, except for the fact that she was in the first movie. They, they like, are toasting in, their, in the limousine, and they say, To Jamie Lee Curtis. I, I understand that they're doing it as a self-referential thing. Like, oh, she was in the first one. But it's just so weird. It's just a weird thing to point out. Like, why would you... I don't know. I don't understand that. Um, there's no context, except for she's in the first one. There's no context to it at all. Um, and again, I already mentioned this, but this is prom night four, and they skip their prom night. <laughs> they, they literally don't go to their prom. They ditch the prom and go to this remote house 
in the woods. Um, so yeah, they 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 go to the summer home instead with the priest on their tail. Um, honestly, I'll give it this though. I think the POV of the killer sometimes is pretty creepy. Like it's kind of effective. Um, the kills are just okay. They're not really. Honestly, I saw this a couple days ago, and I honestly forgot every kill. Like, I don't remember anything, any kills in this movie, honestly. That's not a good thing, but but I thought that, yeah, the kills from what I remember, which I don't, I guess. Only two days, and that's ridiculous. I don't remember the kills. Maybe that means it's not that good, but <laughs> but um, the kills aren't that great. And the characters are totally what they are in this type of genre. Um, the slutty character in particular I thought was really, really annoying. Um, she drove me nuts. Like, I just didn't want to deal with her anymore in the movie. Like, she drove me crazy. And funny enough, this will show my age immediately, but she, the the slutty character in this movie, is the mom from Phil of the Future. If anybody knows what Phil of the Future is, it was a Disney Channel TV series, <laughs> live action series, which... She was the mother in that. And I just thought it was so funny seeing her in this, even though I thought she was annoying. And I didn't like her in this movie. Like, I liked her in that show, but man, she was obnoxious in this movie. Um, I don't know why she bothered me so much. She's just annoying. But, but, uh, but yeah, and, all, and there's nothing else to really say about this one be, besides the fact that it's just kind of generic. Like, like, it, again, like, it goes back to the realistic slasher formula as opposed to, like, Supernatural, like, 2 and 3, like the first prom night, but this makes it even more bland than the first prom night, where the first prom night, I think, is fine, it's just kind of bland. This one is way more bland and way more boring because it's just the same kind of movie again with less good acting and with more annoying characters and not as good kills. So this one tries to best itself after two and three, which were considered, oh, they're not that great because they're silly and over the top and they're supernatural killings. This one goes back to being realistic, quote unquote, realistic killings, where it's a, a, a slasher like the first one, but it's just a pale imitation of it. And it's just boring. So, so overall, I, I didn't really like this one that much on the first watch. It really just was kind of forgettable. Like, I, the first one is is not, like, it's not like the most memorable slasher ever, and it's kind of bland, but it still is more effective than this one. And it's still fun, and I can watch that again. This one I don't think I'd want to watch again. Two and three, I think, are really fun. Like, two, I really enjoy. That's my favorite one out of all of them. And three, I enjoy... Not as much as the first one or the second one, but I enjoy the third one. I think it's a fun, silly time. This one just was really forgettable. I guess that's the word I can give it, is forgettable. It's just a really forgettable slasher. Um, nothing really of note besides a couple tiny things, like the POV of the killer was cool. Um, but it was just boring. Like It wasn't anything that I cared for, and I did, did enjoy the first three a lot. So, yeah, this one... I don't know. I, I don't know if I like this or dislike this more than the remake, because the remake I remember being not good, but it's more watchable than this from what I remember. So I will review the remake and see for myself if that'll be any different, because this one I think was pretty unmemorable. <laughs> like, this is a very unmemorable slasher. Um, so, yeah, so overall, this one might be my least favorite out of all of them. So. Yeah, I really didn't enjoy this one that much. So, anyways, that's all I could say about Prom Night 4 Delivers from Evil. It was still fun to watch it, but I just thought it was pretty forgettable and, and just boring. So, so yeah, what do you guys think about Prom Night 4 Deliver Us from Evil? Um, and thank you guys so much for watching.